It could do one or the other. It could sit there and wait. It could sit there and wait, or it could be drawing the screen. The next big topic we'll get into with this is the notion of threading. And threading allows an application to do things in the background while still waiting for user input. All right? And that's important on any application where you might be doing things, but the user is still able to interact with the application. In this case, as we run the application, the application's doing stuff. The application is moving the stuff on the screen. It's counting down. So the application is doing stuff, but the application still has to be waiting and listening for the user to interact with it, to either aim or shoot the cannon. So that's sort of two things the user has to do. If, it was, if this was written as a single-threaded application, there would be the risk that one of those would detract from the other ones. In other words, as it's redrawing the screen, it wouldn't be able to respond to the user input. Or as it's responding to the user input of me tapping it or whatever, it wouldn't be able to continue to draw the things going back and forth. And as I'm firing the cannon, it wouldn't be able to move those because it's processing the code to fire the cannon. That's where multi-threading comes in. And we'll spend some time next time talking about multi-threading, and then we'll see how this is used in this particular application. All right. Again, in a nutshell, is this application needs to do a couple things at the same time. It needs to continue to draw and continue to count down the number of times and continue to move those things, but it also needs to be waiting for the user to interact with it. So those are two distinct things. If either one of them had the full attention of the processor, that could potentially block the other one. So what do we do? We create what are called threads. All right. Threads is multi-threading is a little different than multi-processing. We'll talk a little bit about that next time. But the idea is, is that there'll be two threads of code that get processed and the processor will split its time between the two so it gives everyone at least some attention. That's a big concept again for anything where there's going to be code running while the user can still interact with it. So any sort of gaming needs this sort of multi-threading because there's going to be stuff going on, more than likely there's going to be stuff going on um, as the user can interact with it. That's where multi-threading is required, and we'll pick up on that next time. For this, today's lecture, go back and review and make sure you understand how the multiple gestures are handled. All right, we'll see you over in lab.